As Einstein once said, it's a miracle that curiosity survives formal education. In the past four years, I've fought to continue to explore new frontiers, and through this, I've gained a unique perspective. I've learned that programming drives innovation. I've seen that education is often backwards. I've learned that calculus makes sense. I've seen how robotics will rule the world, and I've learned the importance of clear communication. On the surface, these may seem to be unrelated, but they come from four years of steady work, rigorous classes, and an unquenchable curiosity. Guided by those that have traveled the path before, I was able to gain an understanding of how calculus is the backbone of not only programming, but also complex electrical systems. This process of discovering solutions to problems has provided a learning experience that can be instructed in a conventional classroom. Our world is full of problems, but it also has an abundance of intelligent inhabitants. Einstein also said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. So why is it then that we rely on adults to solve the world's problems? The public education system is overloaded with intelligent people who haven't become corrupted by modern prejudices. People learn very differently, but I would argue that a majority of today's students can learn by doing. Take for example doctors and nurses. They're required to practice under the supervision of another doctor. That's how the world learns. If we want students to become problem solvers, then why aren't we putting the masses of smart students to work solving these conundrums early on? This also begs the question, what is the purpose of high school? Younger students could handle most of the material covered, and high school could be a place where bigger things happen. There need to be more opportunities for students to spend a day with a master electrician or work in a mechanic shop or even with a producer in Hollywood. If a student then decides that they really like electrical engineering, they can spend a week or so alongside the engineer and then devise a curriculum that makes sense for their chosen profession. Why don't students get to choose their curriculum more? Why must gifted students pass courses that they're never going to need when they go off to practice with their gift? Part of the problem is that many high school students are unsure of what they want to study until their junior or senior year. Why? Because their exposure has been limited to that of the school environment. Counselors only start pushing students to explore careers in these later years. It's the same kind of thing that when college deans ask why do so many students change majors, the answer is simply that the students aren't sure of what they're interested in. Somehow, we need to ingrain in our youth that success comes from hard work. Experience will spark more curiosity which will lead to creativity. This creativity and drive will move our society towards a more producerous nation. Too many of the great minds in the tech field waste their time trying to determine how to get users to click ads instead of developing the next greatest technology. The desire to learn flows from one's curiosity in the subject matter. Give students topics to study that stimulate the curiosity and you have successfully promoted the learning process. Learning, it's all about curiosity.